What we have is a weed here and it's called canary, canary grass. Now some of you may have seen this before. I hope some of you don't have it on your farms, but if you do, look at I'm going to tell you how you might control it best. But uh, this weed, I first discovered this on a farm in Wicklow near Avoca in 2002. And the farmer that brought it in to me said he had hardship cutting his spring barley that year. So, it, so this weed was so, so damaging, it wrapped itself around the intake auger of his combine harvester and eventually he just had to give up cutting the, cutting the um, spring barley. Now, to identify it, look, it has a head on it like a foxtail or timothy grass. So just one solitary head like wheat, you know, just one head, it doesn't branch. It's uh, got lots of short little spikelets here, okay, it's a very compact head and it can grow as you can see that's the height of the wheat crop that it was taken from so you can so you see what you'll see is you'll see it towering over wheat and barley crops uh, coming to harvest time and you'll say gosh what's this and you'll think it's not a big problem but believe you me if you let this weed become problematic even at that stage if you don't hand rogue it it can turn from that into something like this okay now that there is taken from a crop of spring barley a few years ago where literally the year before, all the farmer had was just the odd sprinkle of a head here and there, and it went to this the following year because he allowed it to go to seed. Just to put that in context, there's a crop of winter barley behind us here. Now, a good crop of winter barley, you'll get about a thousand heads per square meter. This thing can produce about 8,000 heads per square meter. Okay? A good crop of winter barley might have 25 or 30 grains on it in each ear. This one can produce up to 300 seeds per ear. So, you know, if you do the maths on that, it's about 32 times, you know, more prolific a producer of seed. So look, we have to watch that it doesn't become a problem on tillage farms in Ireland. To date, I would say it's probably on 50 or 60, 70 farms out there, but there's possibly another 50 or 60 or 70 farms that have it and don't realize, they you know, that they have it on their farms. Um, to make matters worse, a close relation of it called awned canary grass has been found on tillage farms in Ireland as well. Now this lad is more prevalent on farms in the UK and the actual, the control of it is easier. Some of the products on the board behind me, like Alistair and Pacifica, will control um, the awned <coughs> canary grass, but may struggle to control this guy here, the lesser canary grass. The good news is that Axial will control both, okay? So Axial will control both strains of canary grass, both the awned and this one here, the lesser. Lesser canary grass, I would say, is on 95% of farms of the ones that have canary grass. The uh, awned canary grass, this one here, is only on maybe 5%. It was a lot harder to find, okay, hence the small sample. The other interesting thing to look at is if you do have it and you see it towering over your heads and you're wondering, which is it, have I got it? Well, have a look. If, if you see, this is the awned canary grass. It's starting to lose its spikelets there at the top. Do you see the way it's not staying intact here, where my thumb is? It's starting to, it sheds its spikelets very easily. Okay, like that picture there, okay? Whereas the lesser canary grass remains intact, very much intact, the picture on the left. So that's another distinguishing feature. Now, here's a bucket of stuff I collected this morning on a farm. That's actually spring barley, but unfortunately only about 20% of it is spring barley and 80% of that is actually lesser canary grass. And that's the weed that'll end up like this. Okay, it's this one here. Now, if it gets to that stage, what's in the bucket there, I'm afraid you've, you know, you've missed the boat, you're gonna suffer a huge yield penalty. This weed can take up to 80% of wheat yields. They've discovered this in Arizona, in America, it's taking 80%. So look, be vigilant, try and spot it early on your farms. If you spot it and there's only a few there, will you hand rogue them? Because you don't want this producing seed for next year's crop. And if you do have it in your crops, the good news is Axial will control both lesser canary grass and on canary grass. Um, the, other problem with this weed is you can get continued flushes of the weed. Okay, so you could spray with Axial in May, your spring barley, and then you control everything that's there. And unfortunately this weed, another flush of it comes from the soil in June. So you may have to go back in again, but unfortunately the spring barley might be gone too advanced at that stage. Look, what I would say about this weed is if you see it on your farm and it's just towering over, you know, the crops at this stage of your wheat or your barley, would you hand rogue it and get it out of your farm as soon as you can? Because if this thing starts to multiply in your farm, you're in trouble. You need to eliminate it early.